flooding inside subway stations. Live in Washington Heights. Tonight, the MTA says it has a plan to avoid a repeat of what we just saw. Yeah, that's right. And I'll tell you, so far, we really haven't seen here in Washington Heights that kind of quick, heavy downpour that typically causes the flash flooding that you saw in that video. Nonetheless, the MTA says this time they have their eyes wide open. They were surreal images. New York City subways consumed by waist deep flood water. Riders wading through it on the way home from work last week. It happened here in Washington Heights. And with the rain happening this evening again, people are afraid that this will happen again. Are we going to get some more? You think so? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is hurricane season. The MTA says it's working to make sure it does not happen again. They are inspecting drains and pumps to make sure they work and are clear. They also have equipment at the ready in case blinding downpours come back and the system becomes overwhelmed. And this is my stop. I thought, yeah, it looked like I needed a boat to go there. <laughs> The MTA also blocked off a wall and steps at the 157th Street station near where some of that flooding was. They say this work is part of ongoing improvements to that station and not connected to the storms. And the MTA also adds if you do happen to see flooding at any particular subway entrance, don't go in it. They say you can likely walk down a block or cross the street and go through another entrance that more than likely will be clear. Reporting live from Washington Heights, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.